He didn't punch you last night, did he? And now I'm as fit as a fiddle, thank you very much. And the past is behind me and the future is yet to come. And here and now is what's important. I highly recommend the here and now. It's remarkably trouble-free. Oh, I get you, right? Don't talk about making a big... <clears throat> with Seneca and Officer Graham, I get you. It's been very nice talking to you, Siobhan. You too. I'm sorry I left my kid gloves upstairs. You'll have to forgive me. What the hell is this about? Just feel like uh, having a fight, huh? What, are you going to hit me with the bat? Oh! You want to come cheer for my softball team? We're playing in the park. Gee, I can't think of anything I'd rather do. You and everyone else in this family? Oh, well, what's my little game compared to yours? See ya. Hold it. Hold it. Jack, it is the desk cop yeah. against the street cops for the precinct championship. My team's waiting for me. Oh, your dad mentioned that. Uh, play well now. We can't watch you, but we'll be thinking about you. Thank you. Actually, they'll be thinking about Frank. Did you hear that the prince captured Charlotte Greer? But don't be grim. I'm sure they'll be thinking about you, too. Go easy with Jack. He's so upset about me trying to make him happy. My goodness, the trials and tribulations of the men in his family compared to you, I don't have a problem in the world. Yeah, well, if you don't now, you will in a minute. Oh, he's going to give me a fat lift, can it? I'll take some ice to go. Come on, cool it. No. What did I do to you? Just exactly what you're doing to everybody else. It just so happens that my tolerance for self-pity is real low these days. Look, if you came down here to accuse me of self-pity, the least you can do is be direct about it. Because the runaround is a pain. I came down to play softball. Uh, enjoy yourself. Now, don't be late. Take the car. <laughs> behaving like a baby. Lee Kirkman stepped on your pride, so you'll hold your breath till you turn blue and drive the rest of us nuts in the process. Well, let me tell you something, Jack. Daddy doesn't need you punching out his customers. Julian doesn't need to spring you from jail in the middle of the night. Ryan doesn't need her father acting like a jerk. Oh, man. You have no excuse for doing it. What's so tragic, Jack? That Lee made a mistake? Well, big deal. She's imperfect. She'd have to be to love you. And you love her, and your kid does, and there's nothing to separate you, nothing real. If I had that, I'd grab onto it so fast. If I had a piece of it, just somebody telling me that Joe's alive. So what it comes down to is, I don't think anything's happened to you that you can't fix, which is a grand position to be in, an enviable position. Well. Thanks for being direct. You're welcome. Have a good thing. Did any of that take? Sure. Have another beer. Oh, you're mad. I knew it. I knew it. Look, I let you have your say, didn't I? Huh? Did I let you have your say? Did I listen to you or did I not? Did I listen to you? Did I listen to you? Listen, huh? Jack, I've had some more thoughts about that distribution of work in the world. It seems to me listening, that was... listening to you isn't enough, right? Is that right? What do you want me to do? You want me to get down on my knees and apologize and say that you were right and I was wrong? Yeah, get on your knees, but the rest would be nice. Quit playing Mary. Okay? You quit playing the oh, she married. If you really did listen to me, Jack, you'd know who deserves the apology. Are you going to use that thick skull of yours and go to her? Who, Lee? Who else? No. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Because. Because I'm not sorry. I didn't do anything wrong. Here, here, here. Go, go play your game. Play your game. Leave me alone, okay? Oh, okay. So suppose, suppose I don't want to leave you alone. Suppose for some stupid reason. I just hate to see you throwing away a... I don't care. Relationship. What you hate to see. Okay? You get the misery award, all right? You and Joe, you got the misery award for the month, all right? Okay, you get it. Comes with a full supply of pot shots at my, my self-pity. But does not come with the right to run my life. Oh, well, I wouldn't touch your life with a ten-foot pole, you selfish pig-headed... So on your softball game. When you apologize to Lee... Never. When you do... I hope it's too late. Oh, and a pleasant day to all of us. It's a long story that goes way back. 
What happened years ago keeps on shaping the present. Look, what I want to know is how I'm involved and why. It was not caused by me nor by any member of my family. Maybe you should start at the beginning. Oh, by all means. Neil. Not until he gives you his word. My wife is afraid for our lives. What assurance can you give me that you'll guard our safety? I don't know. Just tell him that you'll keep quiet. That you won't go to the police or anyone else. Once I you won't. Know the story. I won't go to the police unless I have to. You realize, Mr. Ryan, that he is a very sick man. That he's in a great deal of pain. That at any moment a bullet I'll might come in the window. Myself. charming idea. I'll tell you what, I'll think about it and get back to you. No, no, don't you get back to me. You pack your bags and you leave for Canada and you see to it that Frank doesn't know that I paid you. myself and my family in your hands. 